What's up guys? Um today I am going to show you guys how to make um your own um good domain name. This domain name is not .tk. It is not .com, however. And um it is not one of the domain names that you usually have to pay for, but it is just as good. And I'm going to teach you guys about that. All right. So here I have my free webs um, account, testdomain11.webs.com. And I really hate that it goes .webs.com, so I'm going to fix that. Okay. And this works on webs, Synthesite, Webly, or uh, any, any website that provides uh, tools for your website, or even better, an HTML customization okay so first what you're gonna go do is go to free domain dot co dot nr that is free f r e e d o m a i n dot c o dot n r okay and it'll pre uh, it'll bring you to a page like this so, first, what you want to do is pick your .c .nr um, uh, domain name. So, I would do the same website that I have currently, which is test domain 11. And you're going to check if that's available. It says that test domain 11.co.nr is available, and you can register it right now as a basic free domain account. Just hit the sign up button below to proceed. So we already like reserved or we have dibs on this domain name. Now what we have to do is make sure we can add this, this HTML tag back to their website, onto their, uh, on our website, to their website. So basically this little image right here is an HTML code which we have to input on our website. So, if people notice that we have a good domain name, they'll see that you got it from here. And make sure you read the rules, make sure that it's on the front page, because they will delete your domain name if um, it's, it's um, invalid. Alright, so I want to sign up for this domain. Then it takes you through this little quiz. Um, where you just have to um, choose whatever, who is Britney Spears, or she is a woman who sings songs, or is a hamburger, a kind of food, just to make sure you're not a robot. Alright, so then it uh, goes you through all the rules, and it says here that you cannot be hosted by Web1000, so make sure you're not hosted by Web1000. I have read and I agree. Okay, now then it's going to uh, ask for your um, input, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, just scroll down. Then you choose a password. And you write it again. And then you're gonna write your target URL, which is this URL right here, the one that you don't like. So mine's is testdomain11.webs.com, and so that's the one I'm gonna put right here. Next, you're gonna go to next step, and you might wanna remember category. Um, You might um, want to do this because it actually puts your uh, website in a directory or even just lets them know about your website. This is a test domain. So then keywords. Okay. So um, I really, really suggest you follow everything that's here. Don't choose anything, not no index follow. Uh, really just uh, choose everything here and just go next step. Then um, you have to review 
every every information that you've put in and complete congratulations you have been successfully registered for this domain name okay now all I have to do is um find the confirmation email I'm gonna do that right now Okay, so then we find the email, and I have found it already. Right here, no reply at dot co dot and r. So that's the activation code. All right, you have successfully signed up for a free domain, and um, if I click it, right now it says it's not activated. So we have to activate it. So. Um, to activate it, we, uh, uh, we scroll down, um, we scroll down, and um, you go to the link, the uh, first to last link, which is, it probably says validate um, space basic dot php question mark account, and you're Thing. So, um, it's gonna bring you to this website, and you're gonna have to type in your ad, um, your password once again, and your activation code. Now, before you click activate, you have to make sure that you have um. Mm. You have to first go to this website, and here it gives you all the notes, uh, all the all the uh, um, steps to how to put this onto your website. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this really, really fast. Go to the first one because that's always the best one. HTML is the most simple to do; it's easiest to do. And you go to your web's account. You're gonna edit. All right. So no matter what you're on, Synthesite, Webs, or Webly, you're gonna go to this uh, custom HTML button. Paste the HTML that was on that website. Insert, publish. You're done. It's not hard at all. And now that you've done that. You can activate your account, and um, if you look here now, test domain 11, the code NR is now a free domain name. So yeah. Also, if you don't like this at all, you have to keep it. But what I would suggest to do is just put it at the bottom of your page, um, so it doesn't really take up too much attention. And as you see, testdomain11.co.nr is now registered, and I can go to it. And it's so much better than .webs or .webly or .synthesite, as it's much shorter and it looks more professional. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, if you like this video, then subscribe to my other videos. Um, I'm definitely going to have videos like these again, if you guys like them. So yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.